Um, let's talk about Melvin Ingram. The he signed with the I believe the Steelers right for a one year yeah. seven million dollar deal. 49ers could have fit this type of deal underneath their cap. They could have made the situation work. Why didn't they sign Melvin Ingram, in your opinion? Ben, I wanted him to. I can't even front. I did, yeah. I, Melvin Ingram's a talented player. The guy had zero sacks last year, but if we're and he only played seven games, so no sacks in seven games. Uh, maybe they saw something there where. I, in the seven games, he didn't look good. I got to go back and check out why well, I can't even because NFL Game Pass is, isn't even up right now. <laughs> it is. But I, the, the five seasons before that, Ben, Melvin Ingram had seven plus sacks every yeah. year. So this guy was consistently getting to the QB. He's a, he was a phenomenal finesse rusher opposite Joey Bosa. Uh, so, and I thought he could, could have been a good fit in our scheme. So I really don't know why we didn't do it. Yeah, to me, I don't really understand this one, actually. I feel like, you know, I think it'd be one thing if the 49ers weren't interested in Ingram. But to me, I, why wouldn't they? I feel like he was a perfect scheme fit for what the 49ers are trying to do. He could be that opposite edge rusher of, you know, for Bosa. And then guess what? If Nick Bosa does miss any time, if there's any sort of faltering along the way, guess what? You have a premium pass rusher you can go in and play right away you don't have to worry about picking up another guy i think part of this to me goes back to the idea that 49ers already made a lot of offseason moves with the defensive line so maybe they weren't necessarily looking to add another piece at that position you know the the 49ers do only have so much cap room left maybe they're waiting out and, and trying to see if there's a better fit available or, or something else like maybe that. they know Arden key is about to ball out you know that's that been my be sleeper so maybe they're that expecting Arden too. key to take that jump yeah well and I think you know it could be Arden key but maybe they have a, a few players in mind too they feel feel can fill those kinds of spots already I think the one thing that'll get really interesting is if the team does cut or trade Jimmy before the season, and they continue to pass on these types of players, that to me is when I would start questioning these types of decisions. Now, I understand it right now because the team only has so much cap space, but you're going to have $30 million to work with very soon if you do cut bait with Jimmy Garoppolo. So I think it would behoove them to, to go after these kinds of players, right? I, I wouldn't, I, I've talked about the cap rollover before, but if we're going after these one-year rental type guys at these specific positions where the 49ers really could use some help. I'm not necessarily against that. I, I I just, I wonder if the 49ers are waiting for the right player to become available. You know, maybe they understand the position they're in right now. They know they could get a player in the future, a free agent, a trade piece, something like that. You know, maybe they have an idea of what they're going to do down the line. Um, but to me, I, I did question this move a lot. Um, and we 